What's going on everyone? It's Brandon with Jacoji Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. If you see, I got the Chargers jersey on. Why? Tonight, Thursday night, we play our rivals, the Chiefs. It's Chargers, Chipotle, and Chill tonight. That's my agenda, but first we gotta make a video and I gotta give a special shout out to Jason in New York. You might see one of his videos floating around. He's done a few Jacoji review videos, bought some merchandise, and he actually took the time to make a good review um, where he actually tested it via acid. Now, when you just watch these videos, and some of you that have done review videos know it is tough to pick up the camera and try to get it right and do all that. So taking the time to actually test the gold and everything is a lot of work, and I do appreciate that because a lot of people come on and say it's fake gold, it's this, this, that. I never asked him to do a review vid video. I never asked him to test the gold, it's just, um, I think my work and his appreciation towards what I do and the work and the service that I provided him to go the extra mile and just show, I mean, I know he, he emailed me and he was really um, amazed with the product and proud of it. So I appreciate it, Jason. I'm also sending you a few shirts just as a token of my extra appreciation for you and your son. So that out of the way, let's see who won the 2.4 millimeter 22 inch baby curb. All right, so I'm just gonna pick a few comments and answer them myself, more of a Q&A for you guys, which is fun. Nathan wants to know, stack or solo? That is the question. I think, and leave a comment down below what you guys think on that. I personally like to stack my five and a half flat curves I got early on, um, and then from there I just stack. That's the look I like. If you have a huge chain, or if you're just getting a chain, like a six millimeter, eight millimeter rope, something like that, definitely it is good to be solo with it but for me the 22 inch length on a day like today just goes under the shirt and i stack a lot because i like a lot of gold around my neck these days so for me personally it's stack az wants to know if you met an alien being what kind of chain would you give as a peace offering um, I would definitely give it probably a diamond cut Franco chain because in my opinion that's the best quality of chain and the other reason is if it was you know if the alien turned violent and angry and wanted to conquer earth they would know it came from Italy and probably start over there to get all that gold so it'd buy us Americans some time to figure out how to build a resistance against those aliens. Fellow Laker fan Miguel asks, question should be who are the top three jewelers in the game? Leave a comment down below who you guys think. Um, it's hard to do three. I got to go five. Braden with Jacoji Fine Jewelry. That is my top five right there. But in all seriousness, I like West Coast jewelers. Obviously, I'm in the West Coast. I like Ith and Co. Ben Baller, of course. I like Jason of Beverly Hills. To me, when I see a picture, I don't even need to know who did it. I can tell who did it because I, there's just certain things how um, different companies build things with better qualities and different touches. You got to be experienced by looking at pieces to know. If we're talking East Coast, I like Aviani or Eliante. I think he's branched out on his own. Has some creative things. Um, other than that, it's just tough. It's all kind of the same, but everyone has a different preference on what they're looking for in a piece. The craftsmanship, the quality, sometimes adding a bunch of diamonds means more than the obvious finish on it. So it just depends on what you're looking for, but the big jewelers obviously that we all know are usually at the top of everyone's list. Papa Ya wants to know what makes Italian made gold products superior and you can't just say everything from Italy is superior because there are chains coming out of Italy that aren't as good as some of the other ones. Obviously the cream rises to the top, there's better manufacturers than others, that's the same with America no matter what, but the good ones I think overall the consistency being it's all authentic, it's all legit, you don't have to worry about it because manufacturing is very tough and when you're talking about making kilos on kilos a day worldwide, it's, the, it's easy to make a mistake, it's easy to get lazy, it's easy to get lax, but overall they do a really good job being consistent with their product and it's a pride thing, they want to be the best, they know they're Italian chain makers, they know they're making rings, whatever they're doing. The other thing is just the experience. It's been around for a long time. That's why when the Francos I sell, I know what I'm selling. It's not a matter of, hey, I took it to this jeweler in the mall and he says it's 10 carat. It's, that's not the question at all. You're talking years on years, generations of making these chains 
They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly how to mix those alloys to make 14 plus carat if that's what you're buying. So with me as a buyer and buying a lot, it just helps me sleep at night and makes me want to push product that I truly know and believe in. Jorge wants to know what makes you want to get up and grind each morning. Guys, drop a comment down below on what your answer to this is. For me, it's just accomplishing what I originally set out to do. You see the logo, you see the logo in the background. Um, nobody thought it was possible, but I, I literally dropped out of college to pursue what I'm doing at this exact moment in time. So every single day, I always think I gotta get better, I need to be more efficient. So that's what gets me up. It's, it's never anything around me except the fact that I'm just out, I have a huge goal, and every single day I work to accomplish that goal. Bobby Charm wants to know, what's your New Year's resolution? Um, I gotta lose weight, I gotta get in shape, I don't know how else to say it. That is my New Year's resolution. I really wanna make that happen. I've let work and stress and everything just take over that part of my life, and I'm done making excuses. The diet always starts on Monday, or in this case, New Year's. So that is my New Year's resolution. Let me know down below what your guys' New Year's resolution is, or of course, closer to New Year's. I'll be bored, um, and I'll make a New Year's like video. So we could wait until then until you answer that, but that is my personal New Year's resolution. All right, enough of that. Let's find out the winner of the Baby Curve Chain via random comment picture. Let's roll it. The winner is Yabra King. I think I said that right. The question should be, what do you think separates Jokoji Jewelry from the competition jewelry? Please give honest answers. Smash that like button. Now, you guys are the consumers, the ones that support me, help me out. Um, so, obviously, you know better than I do. But for me, through my eyes as the business owner, um, it's the business itself. The products are great, the chains are great, everything's good, I sell high quality stuff and I'm always trying to get better at that, but at the same time, I really focus on exact the business itself, customer service, shipping, everything. I'm always trying to get better and always trying to treat everyone the same. Um, and it, with integrity and just being exactly how you see me now is how I run my business. Doesn't matter if you buy a one millimeter rope chain or a 10 millimeter rope chain, I want you to have the same exact experience and always try to make it right. That's what I focus on and I think that's really what separates Jokoji from the rest. All right guys, and that's the end of the giveaways. The video that I'm releasing today, Thursday, about the purity question is the grand finale giveaway opportunity. So I'll release this video on Friday and then on Friday, I'll record the winner of the final giveaway and upload that on Saturday. So the final giveaway is offering a three millimeter, 22 inch yellow gold rope chain, 14 karat gold, and I'm gonna include something for a special someone. We're gonna do the medium yellow diamond cut studs to give to whoever you want in your life. So. That is the big giveaway opportunity. The rope chain is the highest selling chain. Three millimeter is perfect for every day. I think that's a special chain as well. Some diamond cut yellow gold studs. So um, if you haven't, you watch this on Friday, go back to the video that, uh, that I post today, Thursday, and comment extra because I'm gonna do random comment picture on that one. And then on the video on Saturday, I'll announce the winner of the 3.2 or three millimeter rope chain, 22 inches with the diamond cut studs. As well, just kind of give a recap on how the giveaway went. And anyone curious on orders, you really have for chains, bracelets, you have till next Wednesday to get those orders in. So all weekend, you'll be able to order chains with like Cuban link rings and, and stuff I have to manufacture. It's really tight, but for chains, you're good to go. If you have any questions, email me. That's it for today's video, and we will see you on our next jewelry video.